Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my Solar System Legacy Challenge. This is episode 21. We're here with Maisie this morning, who is just playing with Marley. It is almost 7am, she is just getting up already for school. She is a little bit hungry. Unfortunately, we don't have any like breakfast foods in, so she is just gonna have a meatball for breakfast. Um, and Ezra went to bed at like 3 a.m. this morning. So currently he has not woken up. Normally he does it like autonomously. He wakes up at around 7 a.m. and comes to have breakfast with Maisie. So we'll see if he does today or if he decides to sleep in a little bit longer. Considering the fact she is normally quite hot headed in the morning, Maisie is doing a really good job. She is feeling super playful today. She is not headed hot headed at all. She doesn't have it too long until school she does want to win a competitive game and become focused and become friends with Malia so we will see which of those we can work on today but we need to come and feed Molly a treat it popped up saying she was hungry but her hunger says okay but we'll give her a treat anyway so that she doesn't like starve or anything but otherwise Maisie is doing really good um, her needs are really, really high and she's ready for school today. Um, Ezra has not yet woken up. He obviously did stay awake very, very late last night. And Marley, even though wanted food now is full. So I don't know what that's all about. Why don't you spend a little bit of time? Oh, you don't need to study. Oh, of course she did her homework in the last episode, didn't she? So she is going to go and play with some dolls. She is just getting herself ready to go to school. Now I did get a mod where you can send your child to school in school uniform. Um, annoyingly it has taken off her glasses though. So I'll see if I can do anything to fix that, but she is definitely going to keep on making friends. Oh, I clicked study hard. No, make friends. And Ezra, um, he is, he slept in. He didn't get up today. Unfortunately, this is the first day he hasn't got up with Maisie before school, which, you know, it's a little bit sad, but he did go to bed super, super late. But I do think I'm gonna have him get up and get him self sorted. He does want to get into a relationship. We know that, and he has got his two options, but he is still really undecided on who he is kind of more drawn to. So he's thinking, maybe I will go on another date with them. He wants to also dine out with a sim. So I was thinking what we could do is we could go on a date with each of them, one date with Ben, one date with Raylan, and see who he is more drawn towards. And then that sim that he decides to go out with, we can maybe invite on another day. Oh, we're getting a phone call about Maisie. She spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. She didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. I feel like Ezra would be like, she's too young for that. <laughs> So I think he's gonna say that. Man has increased and emotional control decreased. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, he will go on a date with each of them and then the sim he chooses, he will ask them out like for a dinner date, like a, a romantic dinner date. Ezra definitely needs to eat before he sees anyone because he is in a super uncomfortable mood. But once he has eaten, all of his needs will be super high. So now he is feeling really satisfied. He's feeling great. So I'll have him clean up the dishes. And then yeah, I think we're gonna see if Raylan wants to meet up for a date. Ezra, are you okay? He's like so torn because he's like, I really like them both, but I can't continue to see both. He, to me, does not seem like the sort to like want to be seeing them both at the same time. I feel like he is monogamous. I don't think he would want like an open relationship or anything like that. I feel like he wants one sim that he can truly focus all his love and attention on. Um, but at the moment he's just, he really likes them both. So we'll see how both of the dates go today. They have, he has a full relationship with both of it. It looks like Ben's romance might be a tiny, tiny bit higher. Yeah, it's the tiniest fraction as higher than Raylan's, but we are going to see if she wants to go on a date first, he'll probably get some like romantic sentiments pop up afterwards and then he'll go on a date with Ben and get more with him. So we'll just have to see. I love that he's got five options for romance at the moment. Lucy is no longer one of them. But she's moved on, and so has Ezra, and so have I. Ezra and Raylan have made it to the local bowling alley for their day. So Ezra is just greeting Raylan, and then we are going to head inside and head downstairs. And we're going to do a little bit of bowling together. We do have a loan payment to pay, so I'm definitely going to set that up so I do not forget. But I thought it would be really nice to come out and do something with Raylan. Like, we've been to the gym, we went to... Um, the park with her so I thought it'd be quite nice to like 
do something with her. And then when we see Ben tonight, we're definitely going to go out with him because the only times we've seen him are at our apartment. Um, so we'll save that for later. But for now, we're going to come over. It looks like these guys have taken the thing that I wanted them to bowl on. So we're going to go onto this one instead. And I love this lot because I have been playing with it since generation one. This is where Valerie and Veronica aged up into teenagers. That's crazy. We've been playing in this lot for so long and now Ezra is here going on a date here. So um, Raylan is just goofing around with him at the moment. But, you know, we do also want to start bowling. So she's put on her bowling shoes and Ezra is going to have a go himself as well. I love watching Sims bowl because they're usually awful. But we'll see how Ezra does. Yeah, gutter ball. He did awful. Ezra, don't look like that. You're trying to impress her. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because he didn't put his bowling shoes on. You should not. You shouldn't wear your boots when you're out bowling. He's like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. I'm, go I'm gonna embarrass myself. Let's see if she does any better or if she is um gonna be just as bad as him. So she's throwing the ball and not bad. She's actually hit them, which is better than Ezra. And he looks really happy for her at least. At least he's not like a sore loser. He's just like, I can't believe I messed up on you know my first throw. Oh no, <laughs> now it's starting to be a little bit gloomy. But. That was really good. And he's like, oh, I uh, I missed those last two. But that's okay. That was better than your first one. He's feeling really happy because they're playing music that he likes over here. He's feeling good because a secret revealed. She told him a secret, maybe about that job interview that she was going on. And also he's in a basement and he loves being in a basement. But Raylan, <laughs> that one wasn't so good. He does also want to have a drink because this is technically a bar lot. But I don't think we're going to be drinking at one in the afternoon. I mean, maybe we could have like a beer or something something once we finish the game but i think this will be ezra's last throw because i set them up for a three frame game because otherwise it just goes on forever so let's see how he does for his last one not not too bad not too bad he's pretty happy with it he's like yes i hit the balls that's the main thing okay here she goes this is raylan's last one that looks pretty decent but you know it didn't actually do too well so i think ezra may have actually won that one you know i think he just just got it Oh, yeah, she is not very happy. She's like, oh, I was doing so well to begin with. But he did. He won, which is amazing. So why don't we now head upstairs and come and order drinks for the both of us. Maybe we'll just go for a barley bale. Nothing too heavy. As I say, it's only at two in the afternoon. Um, And obviously, as we are on a date, we did. Are you ordering your drink down here? Can they bring it to you down here? Or are you going to have to go up? I don't know. I think they're going up. Okay. He just ordered it downstairs somehow. Maybe, you know, maybe he ordered it on his phone, like a phone app, and then he's going to go up and collect it. Um, But he had already organized, you know, going on this date. So he's spoken to Elodie this morning and asked if, you know, Maisie can go there after school. She can head home with the twins um, and they can all hang out there so he can focus on his dates. But oh no, Ezra's now started to feel really sad and also paranoid at the same time. That is not exactly the move that you want on a date um so why don't we head back downstairs now you've got your drinks you felt a lot better when you were in the basement i think raylan has already finished her beer i asked them both to sit downstairs together and she is not taking her drink whereas ezra does actually still have his beer so she oh completely downed that and now he is feeling lustful he is ready for some way he's over his sad mood he's like you know what i'm here on a date i Wanna, you know, put in some effort. I'm gonna get a little bit flirty. He is asking her a risque question. We're gonna flatter her. She's talking about having no money. Maybe she's like, I really need to get this job. I'm really hoping it works out for me. Um, but we are going to blow her kiss and we'll maybe flatter her and be like, of course you're gonna get the job. Um, whatever you go for, I'm sure they will be lucky to have you. Oh, that flirt did not land very well by the looks of it. She is not looking too happy. Maybe she wasn't too pleased with his uh comment about the job. She's like, you don't even know what I'm going for. How do you know that's what I like? What they want? How do you know that? And he's like, oh, I was just trying to be nice. Oh no, he's feeling really embarrassed now. It was a tedious conversation, but it's gone back to casual. Oh, please don't ruin this Ezra. Um, it's okay. Um, it's okay. We are going to enthuse about classical music because he loves classical and that is what's playing at the moment. I don't think we're going to go for the first clip kiss. I think he'll go for the first kiss on his like his dinner date with whoever he ends up picking. I don't think he'd want to kiss them both. Um, just because I just... 
As I say, I don't want him to get too attached to both of them. I mean, he already really likes them both. But I don't want him to like really fall for both and then have to end it with one. So I feel like kissing them is going to really solidify that. So I think he's going to save that for the other date. But we, you know, it doesn't stop us from getting more flirty. We can, we obviously have, well, do we have her number? I don't know if we do. We're going to exchange numbers because obviously each time we've seen her, we bumped into her at the gym when she came with um, Piper and then we bumped into her outside our apartment and was like, oh, let's go to the park together. And again, same here. So this time we're like, can I actually have your number? We obviously got Ben's number in the last episode. So now we've got Raylan's as well. But why don't we confess our attraction? And she's like, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. We have got a gold date which is really good why are they losing friendship oh my goodness she did not really seem to like him and teasing about classical music maybe she's like that's really boring <laughs> but come on we can do this we are she's talking about pranks um let's give her a bold pickup line he's feeling really really confident the flirty mood has kind of gone it's been replaced by the confident but he is still feeling like he's ready for a little bit of and she is accepting his flirts at least they are cute aren't they they do look really sweet together but it's oh my goodness it's already nearly five o'clock so <laughs> we might just go straight on a date with ben after this um but the date is over so they do have some really good sentiments here he is feeling smitten with her he can't explain it but the sight of her makes ezra's heart beat faster which is adorable but i think we might quickly use the toilets why are they all the way upstairs how annoying let's come to the toilet up here let's use and question mark he is now feeling lost for again he's like oh now i've got another date to go on ezra has made it to his second day at this time with ben and we are here at the karaoke bar i love this lot so much again this is another one we frequently visited in generation one i thought could be really nice for these two to kind of like open up and let loose on a bit of karaoke so we're gonna come over and again we're gonna order drinks for each other so we're gonna come um, and this time I think we'll go for something a bit more fancy than just a beer we'll go for dim and gusty because you know it's a bit later we can go for a cocktail at half six Ben is feeling pretty lustful right now which I love that we are going to joke with him as required on the date but then we are going to obviously get a little bit flirty we'll give him a pickup line well actually we should probably give him a bold pickup line considering the fact we are feeling super confident right now he does that seem to accept the flirts and look at the way he is looking he is definitely definitely into us it's pretty guaranteed by now and Ezra is now feeling really flirty um and so is Ben they've got a suggestive conversation so we're working on our goals I think once they finish their drinks we'll have a little bit of um slightly tipsy karaoke which is always fun I love 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 karaoke and this is obviously where Mabel and Akira met they might have even, you know, been sitting in these seats. I remember she met him at the bar, which is so adorable. These two have got themselves a gold day, and Ezra is looking so, so happy right now. He is adoring a Ben. Oh, he's blowing him a kiss, and it is actually karaoke contest night. I don't think we're going to enter into the karaoke um, contest. I think we're just going to do it for a little bit of fun, but I love that these two are just, like, so busy chatting that they aren't actually drinking their drinks, so I would like for you to drink your drinks. I'm going to stop the conversation because once they finish this they can go over and steal the microphone because i imagine loads of people are going to want to be jumping on for the contest and we want to make sure we get our go of singing as well i'm not sure if ezra has ever sung karaoke in his life so yeah i wasn't expecting him to be great um he hasn't inherited akira's singing skills but he's not the worst singer I have heard, he is definitely no Noel. <laughs> if you know Noel in my star sign, you'll know he is the worst singer ever to have existed. But Ezra, he doesn't sound 
like bad he just doesn't sound confident i feel like if he practiced he would do well but look at these two ben as well he he always kind of seems a little bit like introverted and shy to me but you know he's opening up which is nice and look <laughs> oh ezra he just doesn't seem very confident but look at them oh i love it ezra is still feeling pretty lustful um he's feeling really inspired as well we've had a really nice time with ben obviously we've still got plenty of time left on the date as well so i think we're gonna come over and confess our attraction to him and probably come over and give him a hug as well maybe we can come and sit over here together we've had our go of karaoke although actually do we want to come back over to the bar it's not too late so and we've still got loads of time left on our date so let's come over order ourselves another drink we're showing off our muscles and he's like whoa <laughs> you definitely work out <laughs> is ezra romantic do you know what? He has got the hungry for love lifestyle and I feel like he is really embracing this. He is definitely taking off to Valerie. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like he's a bit more, you know, like pure with it. He's a bit more wholesome. Um, I mean, he is definitely seeing two people at once, but he has really good intentions at least. Um, so do you know what? I'm gonna give him the romantic. I do feel like he could be a romantic sim and I mean, now he actually is. Um, so yeah, I, I really like that for him. He's feeling super confident right now. We have learned at that um ben doesn't like pop music but he does like alternative and retro music oh, i love retro music you won me over ben you won me over people keep trying to join our conversation and as we've had our drinks now the bartender's actually gone i'm gonna see if these two want to come over and sit on the sofa together um so that we don't have a random flirty woman who keeps trying to talk to us i've x that off so many times and it's like girl you know we're on a date right now please leave us alone we don't have too long left of the date but obviously it's never too late to pull the moves <laughs> so Ezra is just snuggling up with Ben at the moment I'm not gonna lie I do feel like the date with Ben went a little bit better like obviously we had a few awkward moments with Raylan earlier um but these two they have boosted their romance a lot more even though I did flirty romance like flirty interactions with both of them they just seem to go a little bit better with Ben and I wonder if it's because they've got that amazing compatibility they just kind of went a little bit smoother potentially so we'll see what sort of sentiments he gets after this day um and we'll see if anything kind of like pops up tomorrow at all but they did gain a sentiment oh my goodness okay um so he has got opposites attract um so I feel that's probably the non-committal and the romantic <laughs> I imagine um yeah, so they've got opposites attract and deeply in love. So he's not got the smitten, but he feels like he might have fallen for Ben. So I feel like our answer's that. I do. I, I'm like, I'm happy, but at the same time, I'm sad because I do really, really, really love Raylan. And I do really, really like the two of them as a couple. But, you know, when the game gives you these things, you can't ignore them. He has got this deeply in love and the date did go a bit smoother uh, talk about getting close <laughs> talk about close guys <laughs> you, oh my gosh i think yeah i think ezra is um i think ezra like spending time with ben but our date is over and they're still just kind of here stuck inside of each other um but i think we need to head back home now and um, ben is also heading off he is desperate for the toilet we need the toilet we need food and we need bed but we will see how tomorrow goes in terms of who we're gonna who we're gonna pursue i think i think i know but who knows what tomorrow is gonna throw at us on his way home ezra obviously had to pick up Maisie. she is feeling really good except she is exhausted because it is 1 a.m ezra <laughs> you can't do this to your daughter oh my goodness okay he definitely needs to um not do this in the future if he's gonna leave Maisie at elodie's he should leave her there overnight let her sleep the night because she is exhausted and she does have school tomorrow bless her but he is of course coming to tuck her in because that's the least he can do and then he is gonna head to bed himself it is once again going to bed super super late so we'll see if he wakes up with Maisie in the morning he's not as exhausted as he was last night so he might be energized to get up with her at 7 a.m Maisie is getting up for school and she's gonna have a quick bath this morning and then she's hopefully gonna be able to grab some breakfast before she has has to head off to school she can go use the bathroom when she actually gets to school but otherwise she's not doing too bad considering the time she went to bed her energy is pretty full but 
but she would definitely need to be going to bed at a better time tonight. Ezra is still asleep again. He can probably actually get away with getting up and maybe making breakfast for Elodie because obviously uh, Elodie for for um for Maisie because obviously the only leftovers we have are like dinner foods um so he's gonna make a quick fruit salad because it's nice and easy to throw together and then that should be ready for when she gets out of the bath so she's gonna come over here and make sure she is ready for that she should definitely get it in time actually go you can probably even get to the toilet before your dad finishes breakfast he is feeling pretty uncomfortable this morning because um apparently his bed is really cheap um so maybe he could potentially upgrade that i always forget that's something you can do he does oh he's too uncomfortable to do that maybe eventually he can but his handiness is pretty high oh breakfast isn't quite ready but Maisie has to head off oh that's so gutting i think i am gonna have her really really quickly just um maybe pack it into a sack lunch and she's like i'll oh, eat it on the school bus there so she is gonna head off to school quickly don't leave it do not leave it there you go take it with you she's like i'll have it on the school bus um but i don't want to be late for school so she is heading off now she's a little bit frustrated because obviously yeah. her dad did pick her up super late at night and then breakfast wasn't quite ready in time so she's like oh i can't believe i'm gonna be late for school and everything i haven't even eaten yet so bless her ezra <sighs> gotta do better my dude you gotta do a little bit better but once he has finished eating he is over here gonna play difficult football with piper she is an active sim to be fair so maybe we can do that eventually is it snowing oh my goodness it's snowing i love that but we do have other things that we need to do like looking after our pet hamster over here we still can't feel the food but i don't think she's overly hungry yeah no she's completely full so we will clean her habitat and then come and play with her give her a bit of attention tomorrow is actually spooky day so in the next episode we will be throwing a spooky day party at the apartment i believe yeah i think that's my plan i'd like to have everyone over to the apartment i know it's not big but i thought it would be quite nice to have a party there so we can hang out with our family then and i'm thinking maybe Maisie could invite a few friends over so i am gonna have her make some more friends today and then yeah she can have another sleepover and hopefully make a best friend that she can exchange a friendship artist with oh my god that's <laughs> Oh, Marley bit him on the nose. I am also then going to have Ezra come over and upgrade the bed because he was saying it is a little bit uncomfortable and he loves handiness. Um, and his handiness skill is pretty, pretty high. It's halfway through level six. So he is over here doing this. And this has got me thinking. I've been thinking about what job I want Ezra to have next. He is a little bit stuck with what he wants to do, but he's like, you know what? I really do enjoy like making things and fixing things um like handiness is a skill that i've always really really enjoyed so why don't i have a little bit of a research into being an engineer <laughs> so that's a career i've never done before um and i thought it could be a really fun one to try out with ezra so i am gonna have him come over maybe just like have him look up some conspiracy theories do a little bit of research about the job itself but i thought it could be really fun because he really enjoys handiness um it's something for him to like physically and mentally challenge himself it's like tinkering with electronics and everything like that so i thought that could be a fun adventure for him to try obviously as it's friday he won't be starting work until at least monday so he's got the whole weekend but i think i think we're gonna look into it see if that is a good option for him ezra is feeling so confident after doing his research he's like i think i've got a bit of a plan in mind and also thinking about his dates yesterday he is feeling pretty flirty he's like i think i know what i want to do it does have um our want to dine out ticked off maybe it's because we went out and like we got drinks and stuff but i do think we're still gonna head out to a restaurant tonight he's gonna go and do a little bit of woohoo no i don't think so i think you can come downstairs and maybe do a little bit of basketball come and shoot around um you know use a bit of your energy have a little bit of fun because we're not planning to head out today um we want to make sure we're definitely here for Maisie when she gets back because once again we are heading out this evening so he needs to spend a little bit of time with his daughter he'll probably hang out with her until maybe five-ish and then take her over to Elodie's again Elodie is literally like a glorified babysitter at the moment but you know what we do the same for her kids she does the same for ours it's fair that's what siblings do <laughs> but then this evening we will definitely head 
head out for a meal. Raymond has just called to say that she has got her career that she went to. So she's like, that interview I went for, well, they offered me the job. We're gonna be really happy for her. We are feeling super confident. So we'll have to see what she ends up going for. She's an entertainer, interesting. I'm so happy that she was able yeah. to do that. And so is Ezra, um, but I do still think that this evening we're gonna see if Ben wants to go out because the day just went smoother. Um, I hope you all are happy with the decision that I've made. It doesn't mean to say that, you know, we won't ever see Raylan again because as we all know, this relationship is not going to last. It will be good for the time being. Um, but it's not going to be a long-term thing because it can't... They're really happy in the moment. But obviously Ezra himself is very self-destructive. And Ben is also non-committal. So I feel like at the moment Ezra is trying to ignore that. And he's like, Do you know what? I can change him. Maybe he's just not met the right person yet. Maybe he's like th saying things like that. Ezra, such a thunderstorm. Let's go home. I think he's probably like, oh, I can change him. Maybe he's just not met the right person. Maybe if he like, you know, spends a bit more time with me, he'll decide. He's not non committal. He just hasn't found his person yet. And maybe that person is me, you know, as he is romantic now. He is wanting to see that romantic side. And he has always been hungry for love. Don't go outside. It's literally a thunderstorm. Come over and play some video games. Play an online game with your mum because why not? She loves video games and she's probably home right now. So come and play video games online with your mum. Our game cut out, I think it's because of the thunderstorm. I've not seen that happen before, but I love it. Um, and Craig is actually calling for a chat. So we are going to have a chat with our dad. Maybe he's going to fill us in on his new job and ask us how we progress because we obviously, last time we saw him, we told him that we're planning to move and we have um and he knew that we were going to change jobs so he probably just wants to check in with us and see how we're doing with that but um once he has finished that call i am going to have him come over and probably take a steam shower ready for his date later Maisie will be home very very shortly she is feeling really tired bless her because of her night last night so maybe she will come back just take a quick nap while her dad showers and then i think maybe we can play video games with her because she likes her gaming and it'll be a bit of a bit of fun for them together she is back from school though. It is the weekend that she has got a C grade and she is feeling super focused from having a productive school day, but that's probably because she spent so much time socializing. She's like, I made so many friends ready to invite over to the party at the weekend. So she does actually know quite a few children and she is really close with Jenna. Um, so I did give her a, a little bit of a makeover, but I didn't want to change her too much because obviously this is the sim that she is. I just kind of gave her some cute skin details and changed her weird looking outfits. But I do think we'll invite over a few of these children to the party tomorrow. I noticed as well that she does want to play pretend in the treehouse, which is really sweet because the other weekend she was play uh, building the treehouse with her dad. I'm quickly going to change her out of her school uniform because she does not have her um her glasses on and she needs those but she likes video gaming which i definitely think she does so i'm quickly going to change her outfit um and then yeah i do think maybe on sunday obviously tomorrow we've got the spooky party and Maisie's sleepover but maybe sunday we can head back to the um the rec center and these two can work in that treehouse because she's like dad i really want to play in that treehouse we started building can we please finish it and he's like yes of course we've just been super busy you started school you've had a really really busy week we couldn't go after school so we'll go on sunday i promise but i do love that she likes video gaming i love i really like that because that's kind of been a generational thing like akira loves gaming so he passed that on to valerie and valerie loved gaming she passed that on to ezra and now ezra um he has passed it on to Maisie as well which it's just going to be something that's going to pass through the generations, I think. But they all just love gaming together. And I noticed that she has now got her motor to level 8. So she is doing so well with her skills. Her mental isn't super high at this stage. Um, but she's got loads of time left as a child. She's still got three whole weeks. So once we've finished this aspiration, as it works on social and creativity, I think I'll go for the mind and body one because that works on mental and motor. Not that she needs the motor one. Um, but yeah, I feel like she can probably get two aspirations done. She is going to be an ambitious sim. So I feel like, you know, start her early with that. She's a perfectionist too as well. So we'll see if we can aim up for getting those two two aspirations complete but it is almost five o'clock now so Ezra 
He's feeling flirty. I did have him take a steamy shower and now that has overcome his confident mood. He's like, yep, yeah, getting ready for my date in a little bit. So he's feeling really playful because he won the game and so did Maisie's. So they must have both like drew or they must have beaten another team. They must have been playing a co-op game. But um, she's going to ask her dad for a little bit of advice before he takes her over to Elodie's. So she's saying, I've got a present. I think it's dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? I feel like he's like, no, that was for you. You should be really grateful like that someone has done that for you. So that has increased her manners and she's feeling really happy for having some good advice. Elodie's calling for a chat. She's probably like, are you still planning to drop Maisie over? And we're like, yeah, yeah, we're just leaving now. Sorry, we're a little bit late. I'm not going to answer the call because it's going to take too much time. But you know, that's just her way of saying, are you definitely dropping her over? Because you know, you said you'd be here at five and it's 10 past. Um, so we are going to ask Ben on that date quickly. And Maisie is technically staying on the lot, but you know, in the game, we're saying she's headed over to Elodie's. Um, Ezra has dropped her off there on the way. Ezra and Ben have made it to Newcrest at this gorgeous restaurant for their day this evening. In my mind, Newcrest is just outside of San Myshuno, so they haven't had to travel very far at all. Um, they are both dressed up as it is a formal uh, restaurant and they are looking so, so cute Ezra in his his green leopard um suit and then Ben in his blue one which you know it makes a change because he's normally quite like a grungy sim he likes to dress down a little bit so it's nice to see him dress up a little this table was actually taken so that's why we have um requested this one but Ezra why don't you come and sit opposite I'm clicking on Maisie that's why it's not working Ezra come and sit over here so Alexander Goth is actually here um which is why we can take the table for just the two of them but it's okay we got this nice table in instead Ezra is feeling really flirty and so is Ben we are going to order our food because I don't know how long it's gonna take for it to arrive so I'd rather earn um order it nice and early I think we'll go for let's both go for a nice glass of wine and then as for dinner I think Ezra will go for the steak and then Ben is vegetarian so let's order a vegetarian meal for him let's go for butternut gnocchi and that brings our total to 68 smoleons which isn't actually too expensive so oh he is again really flirty back with us it's nice to see him flirting with us and it's not just you know always Ezra our brother is calling he's like oh I found a really funny meme um <laughs> Ezra's been like oh genius um he does have a really good relationship with his siblings but you know now is not the time he's like ha, I knew you'd love it <laughs> of course he is not gonna ignore his siblings so even though he's on a date he's just gonna like quickly just check his phone he's like oh sorry it's my brother I just want to check if it's anything important it's not of course as Ezra is flirty he can flirtatiously compliment Ben's lips because that is one of um, Ezra's woohoo interests. Oh, he said something he wasn't too keen on by the looks of it, but made up really quickly with that compliment. Um, and they've gained a nice sentiment of value at the time that we spend with each other. It's a suggestive conversation and look at their romance bar. We're already like almost at the silver level, even though we have only just started the date basically. We are gonna have a deep conversation and probably say him like look as you know I was kind of like I was kind of seeing you and someone else um because I kind of had like feelings or interest for the both of you um but they did already discuss this so it's not like news to Ben he completely understands because they weren't exclusive our food has arrived and um it's not very good or at least Ben's isn't so I think we need to complain to the waiter about this it was made by Juliana Wright so we're definitely going to complain about this meal because poor Ben is looking really upset about this we are it's technically an insult it's like hey um, this food really isn't good enough. We paid a lot of money for this. The customers are furious. What are you doing back there? Pull yourself together and cook better food. Oh my god, Ezra is talking about bed and handcuffs. He is, he is definitely, he's definitely feeling it. But he's like, I was kind of like seeing you both as you know, but I really feel this strong connection to you and we have, we get along so well and despite the fact we're like a bit different, I really like that and I think Ben is also probably feeling the same way considering the fact he's very flirty is an amorous exchange so I do think once Ezra has finally finished eating his dinner um he is still going with this he's just too busy chatting with Ben but Ezra you do need to finish your steak I might have him stop talking just so he can finish because then I'm gonna have him ask Ben to be his boyfriend he's like I 
I want to make it official with you. Is that something, you know, do, are you happy to commit to me as well? So Ezra has finished eating and he is going to come over and he is going to ask Ben. Oh, they said yes. Oh my goodness. They're both dating now. I'm so pleased. The lady got in the way just as I was taking it. So I couldn't get the whole moment, but they are officially dating. And I noticed that Ben also got a little settlement there. Deeply in love. So obviously we knew Ezra got that last night, but Ben is deeply in love as well. And Malia, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be looking after our daughter right now. Oh, look at her. What are you doing? <laughs> but we're going to ignore that. You know, maybe she went out um, with like a work friend, Elodie stayed home or something, it's Friday night. But oh my goodness, these two are officially dating. These two have decided to come outside for a little bit more privacy. They have finished eating and Ezra is just flexing and showing off at the moment. And Ben is absolutely loving it. He is kissing his hand. He's like, I really think I'm falling for you. And he is leaning in for the first kiss oh i love it this is their like this is technically like their third date but their second official date so they've been seeing each other for a little while they're both um heading back inside now <laughs> they're like they just wanted their moment of privacy especially considering the fact malia was here he's like you or my sister-in-law seeing me have my first kiss <laughs> with this new guy um but they've both come in but we have actually finished eating and it's really close to the end of the date so we'll stay here for the moment but we're gonna ask a risque question. I don't think we're gonna go in for the woohoo tonight. As I said, like Ezra, he does obviously, he really enjoys his woohoo as we know, but I don't think he'd rush into it. So he had his kiss, he made it official tonight. I feel like maybe on another date, but he's like, I'm throwing a spooky day party tomorrow. It'd be great if you could come along. I mean, all my family will be there, so I don't want you to feel like any pressure or anything. Oh my goodness, propose at table. Obviously we're not gonna be doing that, but I love that that's an option. I believe it comes with a mod, but I can't remember the name of the mod. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen in editing, but oh my goodness i'm so pleased these two are over here they've made it official but we do need to make sure that in the next episode we do call off our romance with raylan as they weren't officially dating i'm not gonna have them actually like break up or anything i'm just gonna ask them to be just friends and ezra oh he wanted to ask ben on a date they're already on a date and he's thinking about the next one Bless. but that was a legendary day and they're feeling so good and he wants to share some conspiracy theories with him now he's really opening up you know he's getting to the real deep stuff but on this note i think i am going to end the episode here thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed i really hope you're all happy and agree with my decision to go with ben it just felt like they connected so much better also let me know what you think about ezra joining the engineer career if you did enjoy this episode make sure to leave a like and comment down below and let me know what you think and if you haven't already please do subscribe it'll mean so much to me and I will speak to you all in another video. Bye everyone!